I'm Dr. Carl Freeman with Jackson Orthopedic Institute. Today I want to talk to you about hip label injury. See, the hip is a true ball and socket joint. In other words, the ball is round and the socket surrounds the ball. Now around the rim of the socket is a rubbery cartilage lip that acts as a gasket or an o-ring called the labrum. Now this is the most vulnerable part of the hip joint. The way the hip labrum gets injured is either because of an abnormality because of the shape of the ball and socket joint of the hip, or because of an injury caused by maximum flexion of that ball and socket. Patients who have hip label tears are generally athletes, but other patients get them as well. They typically come and complain of pain right here in the hip groin area, right where a jean pocket would be. Oftentimes they'll have pain that radiates into the thigh or even the buttocks. Once we identify that hip label tear is causing symptoms, we start with non-surgical treatment options. These are anti-inflammatory medications, activity modification, and physical therapy. Now physical therapy should focus on strengthening of the muscles of the hip, and also avoiding forceful flexion of the hip. And that's what our hip physical therapists uh, focus on at first. If non-surgical treatment fails to relieve the symptoms of a hip labral tear, then we consider surgical treatment options. The best surgical treatment option is a hip arthroscopy with label repair. Essentially, this is a surgery where we make tiny incisions around the hip joint. We go in, we look at every part of the hip joint, and everything we see, we address. We find the, the tear of the labrum that we had anticipated, and we repair it. After surgery, this is associated with very low levels of pain, and you go home on the same day. If you think you have a hip label tear or you're having hip pain, we can help. Just call JOY2000 or go to JOY.net to schedule an appointment.